Hi, hello, and welcome to the online intergalactic real estate extravaganza. Today we've got a whole bunch of exoplanets on display, and one of them could be yours. Are you looking for a super Earth? Because it is twice the size of our Earth. Oh, we're on to another one. They're quick. They're going like hotcakes today. You're like two um, moon stars. They, they already know it's you, Jack. Ah. Oh. They saw the story. But the wig. <laughs> <laughs> It's meant to throw it people really? off the sand. Well, boy, does it do a good job. It got me, didn't it? So. Um, <laughs> oh, all right, it's me. <laughs> Welcome to Ask a Reporter. Welcome. Happy Friday. Hello, I'm Jake. <clears throat> Jake Evans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm Jake. Um, but those are your real glasses, aren't they? Can I just say as well, that <laughs> they are my real glasses, but I'm, mm. but I'm not Jake, I'm Jack. And uh, those posters that we just had How up. How cool are they? They're really cool. They're so they're, cool. Yeah, there we go. So they keep blocking See you, me. Amelia. Goodbye. Oh, um, wrong arm. Bye. Yeah, Lava Life. <gasps> they 55 are amazing. 55 Pegasi B. Um, that's yeah, that's the first one if you paid attention to the story. But um, yeah, those were designed by um, someone over in NASA. Who knew Aren't NASA had amazing? artists on cool. their team? Um, but yeah, they're kind of to give us an idea of what these planets might look like. And it's so clever. Yeah, so you can. Um, what is that one? That one. That one's actually really cool because it is a, a exoplanet that isn't orbiting a star. It's just kind of what? drifting out in the. I thought they had the to orbit stars. Universe. They don't have to orbit stars. No, so they don't know. They actually wow. don't know much about those types of planets um, or why they aren't orbiting a star. Some some reckon that it could be because their star died. <laughs> Sad. Wow. Um, I don't know why I laughed. Uh, but <laughs> star died. Um, R.I.P. Star. Yeah, or like Which they just kind of their star got rid of them. Happened to our sun. Our yeah, star. but not yeah. for a, not like, for a very long time. Billions, billions of, years. of years. Don't worry. So don't worry. Do not stress. Don't stress. But you can uh, guess what we're talking about. We are talking, of course, about, about milk. <laughs> That's confusing. Oh, sorry. Because uh, a lot of the kids have asked about exoplanets. <laughs> oh, so. no. Awkward. I thought we were talking about dairy farming. You've just done all of your research. <laughs> <laughs> What's this all for? <laughs> no, we are talking about exoplanets. We are. And can you tell us, just refresh our memory, Jack, why are we talking about exoplanets? Um, because they're cool. Because they're, they're cool. They're fun. Um, they no, really because cool. we're, we're talking about them because, well, they are cool. <clears throat> um, I mean, planets that exist outside of our solar system. That is pretty cool i think yeah just Very any planet really is pretty cool isn't it yeah yeah um, but these in, these in particular because you just don't know as much yeah. about them yeah and it's like, what are they where are they who are they <laughs> who are um, they <laughs> but also um because the count or the tally of how many exoplanets we've found or mm. have like reached over four thousand wow four thousand isn't yeah. that crazy that's a lot that's a lot and it's a heaps considering as well that um we only like first discovered them in the 90s like we knew yeah. that they existed only yes. in the 90s right? yeah so there were yeah and there were of course you people sure. um you know theorize about mm -hmm. um other planets and what's going on i'm sure you you at home over in <laughs> class have actually thought about that yourself when you look up yeah. at the night sky. But it, yeah, it wasn't until the 90s that they were actually able to prove that there was one out there. Pretty crazy. All right, well, we have heaps of questions yeah. as always. <clears throat> I'm ready. Um, <laughs> so first, a really important one from um, Addison um, from homeschooling. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hi, Addison. Uh, why did Jack wear a wig? Ha! Well. Good question. Because <laughs> it's a nice wig. It's not itchy. And we like to wear wigs as much as um, possible because they're fun. Yeah, why did I wear a, a wig? Because I wanted to trick Amelia into thinking that I was not Jack, that you I was got Jake. Me. <laughs> I don't know if I really fooled her. <laughs> um, but if you've watched any of... Um, my stories or Amelia's, you'll know that we love dressing up. Yeah. So any excuse to put on a wig and a silly <laughs> costume, I'm there. I am not, so am I. <laughs> I am there too. All right, so let's um, go with a question from Leah from Karela Public School. Hi, Leah. Leah would like to know how long have exoplanets existed? Ooh, um, well. A very long time. A very long time. Yeah. Yes, it'd be thousands, the... millions, billions of years. Yeah. Um, like I said, yeah, the, I mean, we've only kind of started discovering them in the 90s, but they've been around for a really long time. How old is Earth? How old is Earth? 
Oh, I do know this, but I've just forgotten and I don't want to get it wrong. Because I know our uh, our star, the sun, is... So it's like s- four, four billion? 45 billion... 45. Million. 4.5. Oh, 4.5. Okay, I was getting all of the signals four. wrong. I thought it was something <laughs> like 7 million or something. 4.5 four billion. billion. Uh, sorry, obviously billion, not million. 4.5 billion years old. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, but then, you know, the universe... How, who knows? Who knows? No one knows for sure. So a really, really old. Very, I mean, how long? Long, old. long time. They've existed for a very, very long, 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 long time. Long time. Now I love. Thirteen point seven billion. How long? Thirteen point seven billion. Thirteen point seven billion years old is uh, what we guess the universe is. Wow. So there you go. Imagine all the hard, birthdays hard that, that they've celebrated. All the New Year's. All <laughs> the, the universe. Anyway, the okay. universe has <laughs> celebrated. <laughs> We've got so many questions, so I'm going to try and keep us on track, okay. which is something Jack and I are not that good Well, I'll try and keep um, us off track. <laughs> and it'll be a fight until the end. Um, I love hearing from Look at friends. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Go, I, love go, go. You. I love hearing from Fraser Academy from Vancouver Ooh. in Canada because how cool is that? They're all the way over that in Canada is... and they're watching BTN. And it's probably cold there. And it's probably it's probably cool. pretty cold, but it would be warm. It's starting to warm oh, up. Oh, it would be. It'd be going into your, sp- into it's your spring, spring. It's spring. summer. So Ruby from Fraser Academy uh-huh. um, would uh-huh. like to know, in the future, will we be able to actually go and live on Mars or a different planet? Ooh. As the uh, resident, uh, what do you call it when people look into the future? Uh, you know, psychic? Psychic. Am I the resident us. psychic? <laughs> All right. Well, I now see, you are because that is a difficult question I to answer. I see stars. <laughs> <laughs> I see flies. <laughs> there are flies on these planets. <laughs> um, I know. How cool is that? I mean... Yeah, I love. The I guess idea we don't really know, but no. potentially we could be, and mm. and that's the really exciting thing is that maybe one day we could be living on Mars, or we could be living on another planet, yeah, you know, somewhere else out you of the universe. You never know. You never know. What would you take? What would I take? Oxygen. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would take. I would take oxygen. Probably something that could grow there oh, yeah. you know because you need some food all yeah. right let's keep going let's keep going oh. so um that's a really good uh, question uh, i think that's is. that's the really exciting thing about all these exoplanets is like what are the possibilities now that you know we've found so many yeah what what do we do with them yeah <laughs> probably we... not nothing really at this <laughs> stage but <laughs> um okay so oh i'm not gonna ask you that that's that because you might get that wrong and it'll be really embarrassing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Name all the planets in the solar system. All right, let's you don't go. Have to do it in order, all 4,000? <laughs> 55 <laughs> Pegasus. In the solar system. Oh, in like, our solar yeah. system. <laughs> they might get it wrong. Well, I don't know. Well, there's. I can uh, never remember the order, to be honest. You just have to think of the Sailor Scouts <laughs> from Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> a reference no one watching will get. <laughs> Wait, oh. let's. We're gonna leave that one for now. Okay. We'll see if we can come back to it. But let's keep going. Okay. Um. 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 um let me see. Um. Okay. So, uh, Jabril from okay. Bankstown West Public School would like to know: Do exoplanets have ozone layers? Oh well, we don't we really know. We don't know that much about them, no, do we? That's the thing. We don't mm. know much about them, and um. We don't know what their atmospheres are like. Um, so, yeah, we're not too sure. But that's, I guess, something that um, we'll touch on a bit later um, about a planet, exoplanets that are in a habitable zone, which I did talk about in the story a bit. But that kind of cool. falls into that. And whether or not um, planets are located in the right position to mimic at Earth. So Okay, cool. Nice. Um, okay, so there. that's a very good question. Um, I... I Aeon or Ion from BWPS would like to know what is the name of the star that the first exoplanet that was found called? <laughs> the name, so 55 Pegasi B. So, well, so that, that was the planet, yeah. Well, what? B, so mm-hmm. the star, if I'm correct, I'm actually not sure, but I'm basing this on how um, the exoplanets are named, and they're named after their star, which is why there's like a B. Oh. C, D, E, F, G, I, J, K, L, I didn't know that. Um, so, I'm assuming it would be 55 Pegasi. 
There you go. So that's the name of the star. And then 55 Pegasi B, that's the name of the planet. Because so it's, the B is the key part. And yeah, and so the um, there's, there's I also think this is correct. A lot of this, um, I'm not an expert on exoplanets. Um, as you know, I'm an expert on wigs. <laughs> 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 but um, I believe also um, you wouldn't get a 55 Pegasi A because 55... 55 Pegasi A is technically the star. So that's why, so 55 Pegasi B is the first um, planet that's orbiting the That s- is that very star. cool. Mm. Okay, I have a question from, uh, ooh, 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 I lost it. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. I'll make funny noises. Oh, I lost it. Anyway, let's go for Chris oh. from BWP, BWPS. Who was the first person to find an exoplanet? It was a couple of people, um, wasn't it? It was... Well, the, f- the two that I talk about, because um, I didn't mention their names, I have them written down. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> looking to the side. We'll um, so there were two Swiss astronomers, um, and their names were Nick... Oh, uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> Michael Mayer and Didier Quellos. I think I Did- pronounced those right. Quellos. That's Quelos? a nice name. Didier Quellos. 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 Something like that. So they yeah. were the first. Wow, well, that's pretty cool. What a discovery. Yeah. Um, okay, I have a question yeah. from Caitlin from OFGS. What color are most exoplanets? Oh, um, pink. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not too sure. They um, They vary, I suppose. They vary. They do vary. Um, like I said, we do, a lot of like, you would have seen a lot of the artist's impressions of what exoplanets look like. Um, so they, I think, take creative license over the colouring. I'm looking over to a space expert to get the... Um, <laughs> Ah, what space um, expert? <laughs> we've got someone from NASA in the building. No, we don't. Um, but and then, it, like obviously, it depends as well their position from their star. So if they're going, if they're closer to their star, chances are they're going to be very hot. Well, they are going to be very hot, so they're more likely to be reds than oranges. No. Oh no. Oh, oh. blues and. Oh, oh, we might have to. Bring That's the other thing. It does in. depend on what they're oh, okay. made out of. All right. So. Well, let's. We'll wait, wait for this. All right. Um, all right. So we have Saxon, or let me ask you this one, uh, see if it's a quick answer. Oliver oh. from Roland Plains Upper Public School. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Oliver. What is the biggest planet found? I actually don't know. You don't know? <laughs> all right. We'll move there on. Is a, there is a, um, a planet in one of those illustrations, though, that it said, um, it said something about Earth, and it's twice the size of Earth. So it's got, like, ah. so the idea of it is that it has... Huge double the gravity. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so we'll see if we can work that out. But um, let's go on to Saxon from also from Roland Plains Upper Public School. Now, Saxon has a couple of oh, three questions, in fact. Uh-huh. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go for a very quick answer. What is an exoplanet? Can we just clarify for anyone who's still wondering? Uh, yeah. So, an exoplanet is um, simply just a planet that exists outside of our solar system. So, yeah. Easy. Good, easy one to remember. And it's funny because I actually asked Jack that yeah. question earlier in the week because I was like, just want to make sure. And there you go. It's yeah. a simple answer. And so a good way to think about it is, um, so we've got our star, the sun, um, and then when you look up into the night sky and you see all the other stars up there, um, they've, they chances are they've got planets orbiting around them. So, That's so cool. basically anything that isn't orbiting our sun is or our star is a an exoplanet that's so cool all right and then um why do exoplanets go around stars uh because that's how they're formed so it'll be gravity (laughs) Gravity. it is gravity gravity i was thinking for this next question too also what will happen to the exoplanet when the star explodes maybe Mm. we bring in an expert not from nasa supernovas but you know how you have to get her to come over you have to just say have space to really blink loudly your i've eyes. done this before with oh. martin and just if you just just try yelling out space and see what happens space that wasn't very loud oh, sp- space Did so ah! <laughs> <laughs> That was really terrifying. I didn't know you were that close. (laughs) I'm sorry. I 
was making sure, like hanging around <laughs> us listening to all the answers because I am not a space expert, but I do she's, really love space. She loves yes. space. She's our She loves space, space as so much as I love this week. This is Sarah. Week. Sarah is the producer of BTN um, and a former reporter and just general space enthusiast. Yes. So, space, space um, nerd. So space what, nerd. What are we talking about? All right, about? so we're talking about why do the um, – I lost it, but what, what happens when the uh, star explodes? What happens to the planet Ooh. if the star was mm. to be destroyed do you know if yeah they get blown up is the simple answer <laughs> but how and is it then that there was the one you mentioned before that that's managed to be just floating so without a not star? not all stars explode no they don't okay. sometimes they become neutron stars which is really really cool so that's when um so as a star gets towards the end of its life and it starts to burn up its fuel it starts to expand and get bigger and bigger and bigger and that's what will happen to our star, too, mm-hmm. eventually. Mm-hmm. And as it gets bigger and bigger, it kind of burns up all of the planets in, you know, in, in vicinity. And then when it gets to a certain size, it collapses whoo, back in on itself. So you can mm. get a, a neutron crazy. star, which is, like, super dense. So it's got all of this, like, um, it usually supernovas, before, mm. which is the explosion. So it'll whoo, eject out wow, some of its um, elements. And so the planet, the, the planets will not do well. The ones, uh, that no, are not, not the ones closest to it. So, basically, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. So eventually, yeah. Um, in like m- millions of years, our Earth, all the water on Earth is going to dry up because our, su- our the sun is going to get so big yeah. and so close to Earth. Yeah. But yeah. we, it'll, it'll, we'll, it'll, we'll, we'll, millions we'll, of we'll be long years. Be long it's fine. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this one because I like this one. Um, this is from Lane from Roland Plains up at Public yeah. School. Come sit around. Um, do seat. people name the exoplanets? They do. But I want to know more about like, so So do they always name them like you said or can you just be like Amelia? Call it Robert. Yeah. Um, you know? Is that possible, Bruce? Uh, well, I... I mean, anything's possible. But do they? They do generally just always name them after. Yeah. So and, um, yeah, and yeah, the after the star. At this stage, okay. I think because as well, there are so many. Yeah. I mean, it's so if you had like just Jack, Amelia, Sarah, yeah, you can like, keep going through lots of names. To, it's a bit hard to keep track yeah, of, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You can actually like name stars. There are lots of programs where you can actually like buy it because there are so many stars out there that don't have names. You can just like pay a little bit of money. It's not even that much, like a hundred cool. bucks or something, and then you can have a name star. So you could, so you could ask your parents. You could you do purchase this. the Sarah star, <laughs> yeah. and then any exoplanets around that star would, yeah, be, would be Sarah, Sarah B, a, Sarah C, Sarah. They tend to only sell the stars that aren't don't look that interesting. Okay. But we're not, like, <laughs> the other interesting ones. But they still shine bright ones. like yeah. diamonds. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So we have um, Kuji Public School 3T. Like so we have the whole class, there I think. Go. Would like to know, if you discovered an exoplanet, wow. what would you name it? Oh. Um, it's I a mean, tough one, like, right on the spot. Like Jack Planet. That's pretty obvious. Jack Planet. XO. Yeah. XO. 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 That would be a Good mm. one. Yeah. yeah. I think, think I'd have it. to. Let's I'd have to know like what the planet, planet was like. So if it was like a real hot planet, it could be like Fire McFire face. Caliente. That's the Fire <laughs> Caliente. <laughs> All right. So um, I have Nathan from. Well, Illinois. hang on. What would you name a planet? Uh, mm, Millie Planet. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anything wow. either. Just after yourself, <laughs> really, right? That was Millie, like my name, Millie. Millie, Millie yeah. Planet, Planet Millie. Planet, Planet Millie. Millie. Planet Millie. Planet Millie. Planet, Planet Millie. yeah. Planet Millie. Planet Millie. Any yeah. life that was found in it would be millions. Ah, oh, <laughs> millions. Oh, or it's close like to millions. It. Minions. My minions. All right, Planet Millie. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. It's a tough one, isn't it? All right. So can we Jack's talk about... Jack's Place. Jack's Place. <laughs> Elmore Vale Jack Public Shack? School. I have Nathan. <laughs> Why is every planet a sphere? Oh. oh. Now that's a really, really good I question. I don't know. Do you know? Yeah, it's because of the way gravity works. Oh. Now, because every particle in the universe is pulled towards every other particle. Yes. Um, oh, let me think of a good So it would mean like can... there's no corners. Yeah. Because Yeah, because they're going to be pulled, pulled into, pulled the, into center. the center. Everything's being pulled into the center with exactly the same force. There you go. So that's how you get like pulled. when you roll like a um, piece of dough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. not really. Roll a piece of dough? Well, into a ball. Oh, like, yeah, okay. You know, yeah. or the 
tension is... And planets, so. because of gravity, are, like, really smooth. I read the other day that if you blew up a billiard ball, like a, you know, oh, a pool or snooker oh, ball, yeah, yeah. if you blew it up to the size of a planet, then the mountains on it would be, like, a hundred times the size of the mountains on Earth. Because that's how smooth the Earth is. Because it's so big. Like, if you shrunk the Earth down into a billiard ball size um, sphere, it would be the smoothest sphere you'd ever seen. There you go. Interesting. Okay, I have Lucas Hmm. from, I think this is Girilang Primary School. I Mm. believe it sounds about right. Uh, How far away is the closest exoplanet? Oh, Ooh, uh, that's I, a good question, is it? I have a feeling that it's only like 40, 40 light years. Yeah, it's I about think. 40 light yeah. years. Yeah, I think that one that you used in the story speedy. was one of the closest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And what was that? It was about 700,000 years. years. Year. Yeah, because we can't to get there. Light speed. Yeah, yes. man. Which, yeah. Oh, 12 light years is it's the closest. 12 light years? Goodness me, really? Oh, well, that's what? shorter. What star is that? <laughs> we can go there. Hey, oh, hang on a sec. Yeah, that All doesn't right, we'll sound right. Can... Proxima Centauri oh. is how many? Oh, I love right. this. Okay, so this is, um, sorry, oh, should, are we going to look for an answer for that? Yeah, I want to know. We'll look for an answer and we'll come back to it. I thought it was about 40 light years, but it could so be we'll wrong. come back to that. Do we, a lot we, can I just last. ask, though, yeah. will we ever be able to travel? We'll, uh, what kind of rocket will we need? You know what, can I ask? There is actually, I think, a question related to that. I saw that a second ago. That. Um, approximately how long do you um, predict it will take to make technology intelligent enough to discover new exoplanets that can hold human life? Oh, similar. Oh. Or how do we get there? And that's a PS, I love you, with some hearts from Kira oh. from Ellenmore Vale oh, Public yes, School. We love that. you too. Thank you. Yeah, that's so a really so good about question. about technology, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well. For life and getting there. How long? It's a good question because basically... We can't, we can't travel anywhere near the speed of light and we probably won't ever be able to. We, we definitely will never be able to travel faster than the Sad speed of yes. light because <laughs> nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Oh, Otherwise except go back in time. light. Yeah, well, light <laughs> travels at the speed of light, obviously. <laughs> Not faster, I'm just it out. Not faster. <laughs> um, no, it would take some serious jumps in technology to get anywhere near the speed of light for something as big as us. Wow. Mm. So it happen, would you? you so it could well, be more likely no, that an alien okay. What's planet. What's more likely is an Einstein-Rosenberg tunnel, some sort of like interdimensional um. jumping. Like that's that's another possibility. So we can either try and it's only a theory, but um, Einstein had a theory that um, have you heard of wormholes? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. In They're the holes movies. in the ground where worms uh, yeah, crawl. Yeah, where worms out of. crawl, they live in there. <laughs> Yeah. Many movies talk about and TV shows have talked yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you had enough energy, you could basically bend the universe mm. so that you could jump like a piece of paper. You'd So that's the universe, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. And you'd be able to bend it like that and then so it's oh, easy to travel through. Go straight through the middle and that's what a rose oh. and tunnel does. So that's that's, that's possible. Like it's it. all science fiction at the moment. Um, or we need an mm. alien race to, to invent it, to do come it. here, uh, yeah, help yes. us out. And well, who yeah. says, well, maybe we could saying. do it. Why oh, do they well, have to do it? Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm just, there's a possibility. <laughs> Can I go to this question? We've kind of answered it, but it's from homeschool in Geraldton. It's from um, Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian. Sebastian. Uh, this is my favourite topic. Oh. And oh, so hey, Sebastian. Sebastian. You probably know more about it than I do. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is a question from my mum. Huh? I have tried to explain it to her, but she still doesn't get it. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference between suns and stars? Uh, mm. That's the one that people mm. often get confused, and it's really not that complicated. Our sun is a star. We just decided to call it sun. Mm. We could have called it... Bob yeah. or Jack or, mm. you know. So Why it's really Jack? that simple. So, so it's just what we call it. Yeah. 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 Uh, the sun and, yeah. is a star. And the I made that, when I started doing this story, I was going, I was like, there are other suns. And then, and then I was like, hang on, they're stars. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are other stars <laughs> called <laughs> sun? Stars no, sun. they have their own names. I mean, who knows out there somewhere, there might be another star called sun. But we that gave it itself its own name? I want to be called sun. Okay. 
Well, I'm sure there are lots of other Jacks but out there. There are also so like... There all... must be a lot of other sons. That's it. That's, you know, it's a common name for a star. Is. All right, I have a, a really um, good one, I think. Um, oh. I don't think we've explained it. Elamore Vale uh, Public School, Kira and Jada would like to ask us, how are planets made? Oh. oh good question. It's a really good question. You guys were kind of explaining that before, right? Yeah, I thought it's we super saw it. Yeah. 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 And we've yeah. got a nice visual... Yeah, ah, oh, there it is. So that, that is a protoplanetary disk. Um, so what, what happens? Protoplanetary <laughs> disk. <laughs> That's what happened. Th- what we're seeing here is what has already happened when a star is exploded into a cloud of gas. So everything that made up that star and that system, if there were planets around it, has just vaporized into nothing. And then it sits out there as gas for ages until gravity starts to pull everything together. Ah. And, you know, the most, most, yeah, see, look, that's the planets forming as more and more little particles get drawn together by gravity. And because wow. the, the star is always at the center of the system because gravity pulls most of the material into the middle. And the planets form because that gas is far enough away from the star that it doesn't get pulled into the star because that's what happens to most of it. Um, it just gets pulled into its own little planet. There that is go. so cool. Do you, do and you as you saw, it, it only takes a couple of seconds. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. Oh, Jupiter really could have been its own star. Jupiter is so big oh. that it wouldn't have taken much. Because as um, when that happens and as more material gets drawn into the middle, it gets more and more energy because it's all getting crushed together, which is generating heat. Now, Jupiter is so big that it's actually generating a bit of its own heat. Not much, there but with go. just a little bit more material, Jupiter would have been another star. Oh, so we could poor have had Jupiter. A binary system. Yeah. Ah. Always wanting to be a yeah, that's star. It. it was nearly a star. It was a, it's a, could have been. <laughs> could have been a star. <laughs> could have been a star. <laughs> we still love you, Jupiter. Jupiter, I could have been a star. We think you're great. Should be in a t shirt, shouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Jupiter. I, I had a question. A I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> a we're star running, is born. We're Jupiter. running out of time a little bit, so we ha- I got to keep them on track. Oh. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> there was a question about um, could we live on exoplanets, and I've just lost it, but Maybe. I will try and find it. So can we talk a little bit about what makes an exoplanet habitable? Perhaps. Well, if it's got a house on it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> while it's Amelia's house. face is replaced by an exoplanet. What? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Down. Oh, no. Hello. All right, so we don't wow. know is the answer. <laughs> like, who knows? Mm-hmm. There, yeah. there might be life out there. Well, I do. I've been trying those. to sell properties. Well, you don't really, though, do you? No. <laughs> You're the dodgiest real estate agent mm. in the universe. Oh, okay. <laughs> you tried to sell Amelia a lava apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, she said she likes summer. Too warm for me. <laughs> um, yeah, um, well, but, but it is, that's, Part of the exciting thing is we don't know if there are any that are habitable, but mm. we do know what they what what criteria they need to meet. Well, we, okay. we guess what criteria because what at the moment scientists are pretty much assuming that life needs a few basic ingredients to exist, and that's water, flour. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I think you don't take that seriously. I do. <laughs> Liquid water okay. is a big one. Um, they're assuming that life is carbon based, which is what we are. We're carbon based. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. I mean, they I could had be a very good based. question about that. Someone was wondering whether there could be life that isn't carbon based. That, yeah. that was. Um, uh, Hewan from Girilang Pri- Primary School. Could some life oh, on exoplanets be non-carbon based? You legend. Mm. I love that. I actually wish that more there was more speculation about non-carbon based life form. Like carbon is a really special, very stable element, and there are really good reasons to think that life would be carbon based. But we don't know that. Like there, there is a possibility that life could be um, silicon based. Silicon is another good contender for an element mm. that um, life could be based on. Um, but yeah, like we don't know. But anyway, if it is carbon based, then um, we need it. We need liquid water. Liquid water. Um, we need oxygen. Well, you need an atmosphere. Um, but you don't necessarily need oxygen. Uh, yeah, an atmosphere would be really handy. <laughs> <laughs> really useful. We would yeah. like that. Yeah, atmospheres are really good for protecting you from um, radiation and like keeping in gas to 
breathe and um, you know exist in and all mm. of that. Probably a rocky planet is good yeah. because oh, gas really? is kind of hard to live on. I mean, you know, you could have a floating. Oh, a float? Well, mm. now that's a bit inconvenient, isn't it? Yeah. But well, you could, I mean, you know, people used to think fun. that there might, you know, there are clouds around gas giants that perhaps could life could exist in. Wow. So you know, that's the cool thing about alien life. It could come in. Mm. All these different forms that we haven't even thought of yet. But yeah, at the moment, when they say Earth-like planets or habitable planets, they're looking for ones that are not too hot, not too cold for liquid water to that exist. That Goldilocks zone that we yeah. mentioned just yeah, right. in the show. And they're rocky, like Earth. There you go. Well, it feels like that was just over in a flash, and but we're done. We have oh, to ra- wrap up. Here. I know, I'm so oh. sorry. We, it's like this every week. We could do you know what about I love so about... Hey, do you know what? I will we pass before so it, and you guys weren't naming the planets in the solar system. All so right, go on. Let's, let's all do this. learn them okay, together. Okay, okay. Oh, all and right, then after this, can you just really quickly tell me your favourite uh, planet as well? But be quick just with this. Just any planet? Just your favourite. That was a question. What Whoa. is your favourite planet? So name the planets and then tell us what, our, what your favourite is. There's Jack Shack. <laughs> Jack, Planet we Millie. have to go. We haven't got planets. time for this. You've oh. got, to, got to be real. All right, so there's Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Sarah, Mercury. please take over. <laughs> well, I mean, my death. Oh, that's your favourite planet. Uh, it's a good planet. Oh. It's, a good it's the coolest oh. planet we've found. That's by a far. tricky answer. So. Isn't it? You weren't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I like. I'm drawn to Mars. You like Mars? Because I, like Mars I think too. that's in my um star. Got something to do with my star sign. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he was our local psychic, <laughs> and our resident psychic. It's all about the star. But uh, I. But Earth is a Earth is, is pretty, pretty good. good as well. Earth is I have pretty to good say, though. I've been there, and it's quite nice. Mm-hmm. I agree that I think Mars is pretty cool because that will probably be the next place we go so yeah. I think that's pretty fascinating yeah uh, but yeah it's all right too all right mm. so um do, do you want to name them really quickly can you reel okay the, all right no, do you know let rhyme? Sarah do it no. all. yeah the yeah. rhyme yeah my very expensive mother just spent under 90 what well, used to be pounds but Pluto isn't a planet anymore so there's oh. Mercury okay Venus my Earth Mars Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then poor little Pluto. And then poor little, poor little Pluto. Pluto. Can you say well that again? Done. Was it my, my very, very expensive? Did you ever know a better rhyme? This is very expensive old mother. My very expensive mother just spent under ninety pounds. Why is All the right, mother expensive? All right, one to remember. But let's be, let's forget the the pounds mm. part. Just remember, not say, not, say not M on planet. But yeah, good to know. And good then you know. take the first letter. All right, we better yeah. wrap up. Yeah. So oh. I've just got to say a really a couple of quick things. I just want to say thank you to everybody who um, asked questions. I'm yes. sorry we couldn't get. I love yeah, I really love topics questions. like this because they get people thinking. Yeah, really you guys good. are really smart. Um, yes. and a lot of yeah. you really really like this topic, so we really appreciate it. So um, I wanted to say um, some of you are asking if I haven't. Why I haven't asked your questions? I'm so sorry because I haven't um. been able to see all of them for some reason. But I have um, Yowie Bay. Is that how you say it? Yowie Bay? Um, thank you so much to you guys. Thanks to Carilla, um, PS, Elmore Vale, Public School, always sending us so many questions. Thanks to you guys. BWPS, really appreciate it. We have people from BWPS, all over. So that's um, Bankstown West Public oh, School, yeah. um, Narrowena Public School. Oh, Oh, so many. Let me just go through. There's, hey, is that G Y M E A? Gamia Bay. Gamia Bay. It's in Sydney. Gamia Bay. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why I haven't seen heaps of your questions, but please keep sending them in next week because we will be here again. Um, our other friends so, are Gamia Bay. Hello. Thank you so much. And Kudji, <laughs> Kudji's always here too. So thanks to all of you. We really appreciate it, and all of you homeschool students as well. Um, and Roland's, uh, Roland Plains, uh, Upper Public School. You sent us lots as well. So thank you so much to thank everyone you. for tuning in. We really appreciate. It. And thanks for all your nice comments at the end there. Someone likes his shirt, Jack. Uh, <laughs> we will see you. And thanks, a big yeah. thanks to Sarah as well for, yes. for helping us out. Um, and that's it oh, from, like head, from, the, from Sarah and me and this exoplanet. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bye. Happy Friday. Bye.